I'm Neil Davis, Senior Partner at Caddick Davis Solicitors. We're a firm of solicitors who specialise in representing people who are charged or investigated for motoring offences. As a driver in the United Kingdom, if you accumulate 12 penalty points within a period of three years, then you become liable to disqualification for a period of six months or possibly longer. This is something that we call totting up. If you tot up, a court will be obliged to disqualify you unless they are satisfied that to disqualify you would cause you, or indeed others, exceptional hardship. Exceptional hardship is something that is often misunderstood. So in this video, we do our best to explain what is exceptional hardship. Exceptional hardship must be exactly that, exceptional hardship. It cannot be ordinary or perhaps standard hardship, such as somebody saying they're gonna have more difficulty getting to work or perhaps difficulties in childcare. It must be something more than that. Quite typically, when we talk about exceptional hardship, we're talking about somebody who might perhaps lose their job and then as a consequence of that also lose their home and be unable to care for their loved ones. Also, you may have circumstances where someone relies on the license to care for a loved one. For instance, someone who might be wheelchair bound or in some way requires some direct assistance. If any of those things can be satisfied, then the court can make a finding of exceptional hardship. In order to argue for exceptional hardship, you will be required to attend court and to prove to the court that disqualifying you would cause you or indeed others exceptional hardship. That will often require you to give evidence on oath and also to produce evidence of the hardship which would follow. As I say, it is for you to prove exceptional hardship and courts can often be skeptical of applications for exceptional hardship and therefore the burden of proving that hardship can sometimes be high. If the consequences of losing your license would be significant to you and it would cause real exceptional hardship, then I would in all cases advise you to seek legal advice and proper representation at court.